Hello, welcome to the Hawthorne Cottage Craft Podcast. This is episode 38 and today is Sunday the 29th of November 2020. I'm Kate. You can find me on Instagram as Kate underscore Hawthorne Cottage Craft on Ravelry as a runner bean and we have a podcast group on Ravelry and that is Hawthorne Cottage Craft Podcast. You're very welcome if you are new here. I hope you enjoy your time with us and welcome back to anybody who has been here before. It's lovely to see you again. I hope you have your cuppa and today we're just going to chat about things that I finished and things that I have started and just general chit chat. So I hope you enjoy and enjoy your cuppa. Today I am going to start with some finished objects and I have two and I'm really chuffed because I had planned actually to podcast as per usual a couple of weeks ago and at that point I had no finished, I'd had a slew of finished objects and then it was all things that were on the needles but I have a couple of those off in the time since and I want to show those to you today and the first one is a hat. Um, this being the year that it has been there have been a lot of cancellations of events and Rhinebeck was one of those and I had booked to go but I decided to celebrate Rhinebeck in my own way at home and I had a Rhinebeck cast on and I cast on the sparkling cider hat by Kristen Lehrer who is Villain Vine and I'll insert a photograph of that pattern here And I decided I would do this particular pattern. I, I felt it was seasonal and I also liked um, the fact that it would be a fairly speedy knit. I had also decided that I wanted a, a Rhinebeck purchase in the yarn that I chose. And I, a few, about a month or so just before Rhinebeck, I decided I would go to a a yarn dye that I love, I have bought from before and who I knew I would have gone to if I had had the opportunity to, to get to Rhinebeck this year. And that was Legacy Fibre Arts. I love the colours that um, Sue dyes. So I had decided, again, I wanted it to be seasonal. And if you've been here before, you know my love of all things pumpkin. So I got the... Steel Toes base, um, her base, which is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. It's a sock yarn and it was in the colour Pumpkin Pie. So this is the Steel Toes Pumpkin Pie. And for the hat, I wanted to add a little bit of mohair. Um, Selma, who has little big knits, has can convinced me that mohair is a good way to go and I've used a bit of it now in a couple of projects and I thought it would be really nice with this and this is the um, cloud base which is a lace weight mohair and it's just so soft the colourway is vanilla bean and I thought these two together would be beautiful and the reason that I like that is that this is quite a strong colour and I knew that the mohair would soften it a little bit and you can see how little of both that I've used. I have so much left. I can still knit a pair of socks. I could even knit another hat with this. But this is what it finished like. And I love this and it really, the mohair really did soften the colour of the pumpkin pie. The pattern has little cables in it. Um, you can see them. Now the pattern did have the capacity to add beads. I didn't. I'm glad I didn't in some ways, but I kind of regret not adding them in. I think it would have really lifted the hat. But I really, really loved working the cables. It was a very, very quick uh pattern it was quite intuitive once you got into it you knew where you should be placing the cables and what to do with them and for the I think of the first time for a project of this weight using this weight of yarn I cabled without a cable needle which was terrifying 
uh, holding, trying to pinch stitches and hold them while still knitting and then lifting them back on without them slipping away, particularly when there were two strands and they were fine. Um, it was a bit daunting, but um, it really sa saved time with a cable needle. So I tried that and it worked really well. I'll try it on. I have a, I'll take the clip out and try it on. I knit it as a tight beanie, just the, the basic pattern. And I really like the tight beanie. Now, my family don't agree. And they asked me the other night why I was wearing a swimming cap. But I like it. Uh, Kristen in the pattern said that if you knit um, the repeat another once or twice, you would have a more slouchy hat. And possibly if I was to knit the pattern again, I would do that and then add a pom-pom because I think it would be a great hat for a pom-pom. But I really like the beanie part of it. I have different hats with pom-poms and it's just nice having a change. And I don't think it looks like a swimming cap, personally. But that was the sparkling cider hat. And I'm really pleased with that. That is my Rhinebeck um, knit this year. I started it that weekend and I think I finished it. I actually just finished it on Friday. I had been working on it and set it down and working on it. It was my morning knit instead of socks. For most of the time, Although then it was taken over by my second finished object, which I'm wearing. And it took over because it had a time limit on it. This was a test knit for Tanya Barley, who is the wheelbarrow on Instagram. And I can do nothing but strongly recommend that you check out her Instagram account. It is beautiful. Tanya is based in the west coast of Ireland and her aesthetic is just beautiful. She had um, approached or put out a call for test knitters and I saw this pattern and I just had to knit it. The colours that she had chosen were more autumnal, but when I saw it, I just thought Christmas sweater. It's called the My Dear Sweater and I think the pattern is going to be released this coming week. So the first week of December. I'll put a date um, in the notes to let you know when it's going to be released. But when I saw this, I just thought Christmas sweater and the colours just had to be red and cream so that my little dears could have red noses for Rudolph. It's a top down construction and colour work. And what is lovely about the colour work is you get it finished quite quickly. It's straightforward. Her pattern is extremely well written and very, very clear and what needs to happen. So I would actually recommend this pattern as a good introduction to colour work if you haven't done it before. As I said, it was a quick yoked construction. There are little bobbles that are here and then the bobbles feature obviously in the middle of the deer's nose and you get the little red nose. I'll insert a photograph of the pattern here. And from that, you'll get a closer look at what the pattern looks like. I can come a little bit closer. These are little baubles. And it really just draws attention to the nose. As you can see, and as I've talked about, I chose red and cream for my project. And the yarn I chose, it's a double knit um, pattern for double knitting yarn. And I chose the Women's Institute Homegrown, which is 100% wool. It's quite a fine double knit but it's, it's certainly knit to gauge for me. And it was the plum colour way and ecru. So it's the Women's Institute Homegrown. What I liked about this particular project and the particular yarn I chose is the price point. It's a seasonal sweater. I'll wear it for a few weeks and then it'll be put away until next year. And because of that, I didn't want to invest a huge amount of money in it. Um, I have plenty of yarn there, but none of it really tied in with what I wanted. And at this time of the year, I didn't really want to be spending a huge amount, but I wanted it to look well. Now, I love 100% wool. I am 
that's where my heart lies. But that doesn't mean you have to spend a fortune. And this was really inexpensive. I think my sweater cost me roughly £25. And that's really not bad for a sweater, an adult sweater. That is 100% wool. So it's, it's a really good yarn to work from. And I'll put the, the details of where you can get it in the, the notes. The sweater, as I said, was quick. Um, the yoke in itself is the slowest bit, but wasn't slow. It was a, a quick thing to get through. And it's like a lot of things. It's like stripes and any pattern. You want to get to the next bit. And I wanted to see the different designs appear. So that went in quite quickly. After that, it was a breeze. It was just knitting. It's stocking stitch. There was no shaping in the, the body. It's cropped. I think I did maybe slightly longer than the pattern because um, I didn't want it too cropped. And the sleeves, again, stocking stitch, you picked up because it was the yoke and just knit down. So you had no shaping to do there in the sleeve. And it's that balloon style. So it's a wee bit longer and then puffs out. But it's what I liked about that was that it wasn't too puffy. I don't want a lot of material around me. And it just gave the shape without flouncing too much and again it was slightly shorter than the pattern recommended because I have short arms um, but I love this pattern I really would recommend that you knit it and as I said I think it comes out this week I think it's the second but I, as I said I'll put it in the, the, the notes what I have also decided to do is that I've decided to give away a copy of the pattern. I think it is just so fun and so beautiful that underneath the, the video here, in the comments, for a week, so that you have a chance to, to knit it if you wish to over the Christmas period, I'll keep this open a week so it will close on the 8th of December. I'll draw for a winner then. You need to have a Ravelry account so that I can gift you the pattern um in the comments write down your favorite holiday tradition just something that you and your family enjoy doing um at this time we're, we're moving into that season and it's a seasonal sweater so what's your favorite holiday tradition as a family whether you celebrate christmas or not whatever you celebrate at this time of year write down your favorite tradition as that you do as a family uh, if you wish to win this pattern and I'll draw on the 8th of December and then get in contact with the winner um, and by that point the pattern will be released and I can gift that to you. So underneath between now and the 8th of December uh, comment please. So those are the two finished objects. Um, I'm quite pleased with those. It was on my to-do list was to get the hat finished and then obviously this came in the radar. But I had cast on another project and I think it was Rhinebeck Weekend as well. Not that I had really any need to be casting on something else at that time, but I did. And what I cast on was the Felix cardigan. Now, if you've watched previous episodes, you know that I have knit the Felix sweater. Um, I think I showed it in the last episode. It was a beautiful grey from Adele McBride. Uh, knit field and it was her sleeve leg colorway and Adele very very kindly sent me more yarn uh, more tweed and this time she sent me this color and I love green and it's again her iron tweed so it's a Donegal dyed spun and dyed um, yarn and the naps are lots of different colors so it's Donegal Tweed. And she'd said that I could, well, knit anything. There was enough in it for another Felix sweater. But I thought rather than the Felix sweater, I will knit the Felix cardigan. It's a pattern by Amy Christoffers, who is Savory Knits, Savory Knitting on Instagram. And I just really had enjoyed the speed again. I am enjoying quick knits at the moment and I enjoyed the speed that the, the sweater had knit. So I cast on the cardigan and I'm 
working well on it. It's, I think I'm in the middle of a row, which isn't ideal. But it's a top down cardigan and it has the same design as the sweater. This little bit of eyelet work. So I got I knit it flat until I got to the armholes and then um, bound off and still obviously knitting flat because it's a cardigan. So I'm well on. I, I It's a short um, body. I think it's 10 inches. So I'm I'm getting there. And then it's the, the rib at the bottom. And then the, the one thing I don't really enjoy in cardigans is having to pick up a button band so I think of a button band and neckline to pick up and then out of the full of picking buttons but this is a speedy knit it's iron so it really doesn't take any time at all and after working the finer double knit it's quite nice to be working at something quickly again it's very very soft for a hundred percent um Donegal wool this is soft and the drape in it is beautiful. It was the same with the, the sweater. The drape in this is going to be lovely. And it's stocking stitch so it, it knits up very quickly. All the things I like at the moment. I don't know about anybody else but my concentration levels have been very poor this year. I think with all that's going on it's knit a bit, put it down, knit a bit, put it down. So I want something that's, that's fast and that doesn't take too much thought and that uh, uh, project the Felix cardigan certainly fills that um, brief that is really all I have on the needles um, it should be quite short today you're not going to have to endure, <laughs> endure this for too long uh, the there's one other project I have on the needles and I've had it on since June I put it on the needles during the summer solstice and it was the Tierman shawl um, and I can't remember now the name of the designer uh, but I'll put that on the screen I'll talk about it the next time it has not made any progress in the last month or so I don't think you've ever seen it so in the next episode I'll discuss that because hopefully I'll be getting on with it at some point but we are coming into Advent and Advent cast-ons. The Felix, whatever I get done today and tomorrow will be it uh, until after Christmas because I want to set it aside and do the typical Advent cast-on. Last year Selma, Little Big Knits and I exchanged Advent calendars and this year I wanted to send her one again. So I sent her one and then she has sent me back this beautiful advent calendar, but hers is weekly. Um, so when I was sending and making up hers, I kept um, a little, the same size of mini uh, that coordinated with hers. And we're going to open them together and we decided we would do a project together that was the same and it'll be interesting to see how the come out differently because we had our throw last year which we love and I have knit socks with mini skeins for Christmas and we wanted something different so we have decided to knit the caramel cardigan by Isabel Kramer and I'll insert a photograph of that here Now, it's a blanket style cardigan and the picture that you saw, our cardigans are unlikely to look anything like that. <laughs> it will be the basic shape and we're using uh, the pattern as kind of our recipe. We're going to follow the pattern numbers for the shape. But because we're using minis, it's going to be random stripes. It's not going to be the, the two the two stripe. It's going to be random. We're going to knit with what we have. Uh, I think in Selma's little package to me, there's going to be some minis. So I'll be inserting those in as well. So that it'll go off 
paste a little bit from Selma's and I think I think this is going to be my Mrs Weasley cardigan I love the cardigan she wears in the Chamber of Secrets I think it is so random it's quite freeing not to be particular about colours they will just go where I get them and it's going to look crazy but it'll be a, a Christmassy house jacket and I am really looking forward to knitting it so it's a double knit pattern again but the minis are obviously four ply sock weight so we are because it's Selma holding it together with mohair and I have got myself some Rowan Kid Silk Haze in the I think it's just cream colourway and I'm going to hold that together with the minis so it'll be a fluffy feel of a cardigan but it is going to be incredibly random the, the mohair will again soften any of the colours and hopefully meld them together because random mini schemes aren't necessarily colour coordinated and it could look totally way out there this will hopefully blend them together and give it some sort of um, continuity but that is going to be an interesting knit and there could be colour changes in the middle of rows as it's a cardigan and I'm just going with the flow that's how it's going to be I'm not going to place colours the sleeves will probably be a different stripe from the body I really don't care it's the shape of the cardigan that I want and then I just want it to be random and fun uh, which I think it will be the other project for my early morning knitting that I will cast on on the 1st of December are my Christmas socks. There has to be a pair of Christmas socks. I've knit Christmas socks now every year for the past four or five years, I think. So I need a new pair for this year. And there's a yarn dyer I have looked at for a long time. And just for one reason or another, I either buy something else. and But I keep going back and looking and her colours are gorgeous. And that is London House Yarns and her Christmas colourways are, are really pretty. Uh, this is her Merry and Bright colourway. It's her soft sock base which is 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. And it's a 100 gram skein of the colour. Very Christmassy colours. And then a 25 or 20 gram mini skein and this will be for the cuffs heels and toes hopefully we'll get them all in I'm planning to knit them concurrently so two at a time they'll, they'll be going up at the same time I'll knit the same amount on each sock every day so that by the time hopefully Christmas Eve comes I'll have a pair of socks for Christmas Day they will be my I always I'm up early and I like to knit when I'm having my breakfast so this will be the project for them so those are the works in progress for the next couple of days and then the prospective knits in December, which hard to believe is Tuesday. Hopefully this year I will do Vlogmas again. That is my plan and hopefully you'll see the progress of those knits during Vlogmas. It may look different this year from normal. I'm hoping to vlog every day. It may not be every day. It's not that I ever do incredibly exciting things in the run up to Christmas. I don't go very many places, but obviously this year there are going to be less places to go. I'm actually on furlough from work. We're in lockdown here for the next two weeks and I am out of uh, the, the store for the next two weeks. So I'm at home, so I'll be able to do more things during the day that hopefully will be Christmassy and I plan to make the most of these two weeks off and try and make them a happy joyous occasion rather than focusing on why I'm off. Hopefully there'll be footage it may be that it's every other day because I'm sure it's the same in your household at the minute sometimes one day is very much like the next day and the next day and the next day but I will try and bring you along on our run up to Christmas it's very Christmassy here we're really getting into the spirit of it and hopefully I'll be able to take you along for that and you can see what we're doing as a family just everyday life 
that hopefully will start on on Tuesday uh, on the 1st of December and until that I hope you enjoy your next few days uh, knitting and working and I'll see you from Tuesday on.